The military occupation of Czechoslovakia by Nazi Germany began with the German annexation of the Sudetenland in 1938, continued with the creation of the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, and by the end of 1944 extended to all parts of Czechoslovakia. Following the Anschluss of Austria to Nazi Germany in March 1938 and after he had obtained the Munich Agreement in September 1938, Adolf Hitler annexed the ethnic Germans living in Czech regions. The loss of Sudetenland was detrimental to the defense of Czechoslovakia as the extensive Czechoslovak border fortifications were also located in the same area. As a consequence, the incorporation of the Sudetenland into Germany that began on October 1, 1938 left the rest of Czechoslovakia weak. Moreover, a small northeastern part of the borderland region known as Zylesy was occupied and annexed to Poland ostensibly to protect the local ethnic Polish community and as a result of previous territorial claims, Czech-Polish disputes in the years of 1918-20. Furthermore, by the First Vienna Award, Hungary received the southern territories of Slovakia and Carpathian Ruthenia, which were largely inhabited by Hungarians. As the Slovak state was proclaimed on 14 March, the next day Hungary occupied and annexed the remainder of Carpathian Ruthenia. On March 15, 1939, during a visit to Berlin, the Czechoslovak president Emil Achal was bullied into signing away his country's independence. On March 16, 1939, Hitler proclaimed the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia from Prague Castle, leaving Acha as technical head of state with the title of state president. However, he was rendered all but powerless, real power was vested in the Reich's protector, who served as Hitler's personal representative. In March 1944, during Operation Margaret Hungary was occupied by Germany, while beginning at the end of August 1944 with the Slovak National Uprising, Slovakia shared the same fate. The occupation ended with the surrender of Germany following World War II. During the German occupation between 294,000 to 320,000 citizens, including Jews, making up most of the casualties, were murdered. Reprisals were especially harsh in the aftermath of the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich, for example the infamous and widely published Lidietz massacre. Large numbers of people were drafted for slave labor in Germany.